Okay, hey everybody. Now my favorite part. My favorite part is taking it off the dish. Now it's only been since this morning. I didn't let it, let it sit 24 hours, but tonight it'll it'll sit and it still hardens. I'm, we're gonna give it a little coat of gesso and it still hardens underneath that. You don't have to wait till it's fully dry to start painting. You do need it solid though, but this is solid. So how long was it? About seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, about eight hours, that's what I said. So anyway, I love popping it out of here. Now you gotta be careful because you don't wanna break the glass. And I just take my awl and I just stick it down and push a little bit, just push. You could see in here, I know you can't see it on the video, but you'll, you, you'll see where it's pushing away from the clay. Oh, and then you, sometimes you hear it pop. And it comes out, and it is hard like a rock. Very, very strong. Much stronger than clay. So eight hours it took to do that. And to make the hanging bowl, we're going to have to use this. I'm not going to do it now. And we're going to put, we're going to, or you could use a drill if you have a little drill. I just use this. It takes a little bit of strength and effort, but I put one, two, three holes for the strings, and then I add the beads on later. But for now, we're just going to give it a coat of gesso. You don't have to do that. You can just put on your first layer of whatever color you want. You may want it red, blue, green, whatever. I always do white because I like a nice white blank slate, depending on you know which way I'm gonna go. I don't know which way I'm gonna go with it yet, but I like to start with white. On occasion, I'll do a red or other colors, um, but with this one, I'm gonna start with white and I'm just gonna use gesso. Um, I haven't noticed much in the different, bowls I've done of if I use gesso or not. Um, I'm trying to think back on all the ones I've made. I haven't put gesso on all of them, but I just like that it's a nice even base to start. And it goes on beautifully. This is a wonderful material to paint. It just covers fantastically. And I'm just going to do the inside now and let it dry and then I will do the outside. Um, if you don't feel like doing this step, don't. Whatever you paint on top for your first layer will be um, influenced by the gray of the, of the epoxy sculpt because it's a, it's a gray color. You can buy white too. You can buy, I think there's about 10 different colors you can buy of the epoxy sculpt, so but I just always buy the gray because I'm painting it anyway, so I think it might be a little more for the colors. I'm not really sure, because I've always just bought the gray. <clears throat> and that's it, just cover all your areas if you're gonna do this. And it just gives you a nice base to start with. So now you'll see my edge here, it's a little nick here but I like that. I could have fixed it before. I didn't want to. I don't, actually this is a little smoother for me. I like it when it's jagged because when I, not jagged, but I like it when it's a little rough on the edges because then when I fill it in with gold or sparkle, it has a nice effect. So don't be fussy or, or think you have to have a perfect edge. This one is very smooth though, probably because I showed you before how to smooth it and I smoothed it too much for myself. I still like it. I love it. And I put this on kind of smooth because, I, like I said, I want a nice smooth base to start with. Okay. And it has a little bit of a... Um, it's tilted a little. I don't know if you can see in the video. It's not perfectly... It's almost like lower over here than up here. And I love it. I didn't notice that when I made it. I wasn't really paying attention. I know I had moved it before because it was a little crooked, but I guess it was more straight than I thought because now it's crooked, but I love it. So that's it. 
Okay, I'll be back in a day or two and I will paint it. Okay, see you then. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Okay, so I was asked a very good question on the comments on the last video for the epoxy skull bowl. The question was, does the epoxy bond to the bowl that you put it on? And the question is, and the answer is, yes, it can. So I'm gonna explain the difference. Now, when, when I'm using paper clay, this is not an issue, but with the epoxy, it is. So with the one I made yesterday, it's kind of a loose fit. I lay it on the bowl and there's all air that's going in here. And you can see, you know, inside. And I could use my awl to pry it away. But still, I didn't wait 24 hours. I did it after eight hours when there was still a little bit of pliability to it. Although I have waited 24 hours and I still get the bowl out without it sticking when it's this kind of bowl. Okay, because there's like space where I can go in and just pry it away very gently. But with a bowl like this, this I molded to my, my bowl. In other words, I put it on like that and then I pressed and I molded it to the bowl. So there was no air here. See, it's very tight fitting on the bowl. And I let it sit for 24 hours. So the question is, does it bond to the bowl? And the answer is, yes, it did. It was very hard to get this off the bowl because I waited 24 hours. Had I let it sit six to eight hours, maybe four, test it in four, when this would have start forming and getting hard, but still a bit pliable, it would have been very much easier to get this off the bowl. It wasn't, it was very, very difficult and I worried about cracking it because it was so bonded to the bowl that I had to do it a little drop at a time. It took me an hour to get it off because I had to just keep doing a little bit, a little bit. Still, it was hard to get off, but I did, I did. So that's a great, great question. When you mold it to the bowl like this where there is no air space, okay? you want to be able to start taking it off the bowl where it will still hold its shape and get it off without having a lot of trouble. So the answer would be around four hours to six hours, you start taking it off the bowl. Now it's even sticking a little. <laughs> um, you take it off the bowl, it will still hold its shape and you just let it sit, okay? You don't wait the 24 hours. It still has to harden in the 24 hours, but it doesn't need to be on the mold, okay? So that was a great, great question. I'm glad you brought it up. Now, the opposite way is this one was not tightly molded to the bowl. And if I would have waited 24 hours, it would have come off fairly easily. But the answer is to all the bowls, Start taking it off your mold between four and six hours and then just let it sit to harden. Okay? All right. Thanks, Alexine, for that great question. And I'm sorry I didn't address it earlier. Okay. I'll be back to paint the bowl. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so I painted um, the back and the front. And I'm going to do a little experiment. I'm using this PBO porcelain paint. It's um, the kind of paint that you put on, then you put it in the oven and bake it and it acts like a glaze, like if it was ceramic and it has a beautiful finish. I put it on some of the little bowls that I did in the clay last week or two weeks ago and um, I love the effect. It really had like a glaze, shimmery kind of glass effect. So I wanna try it on here. I'm gonna try it on the back and you bake it for like 20 minutes at like 200. Um, actually, it was 250 that I baked the clay at. This is epoxy sculpt, so I had to look up how long I can bake it. 
I can bake it for 20 minutes, but it has to be below 350, so it should be fine at 250. Anyway, I'm going to try this on this layer and see how it looks. Um, the only thing is I have to put it on and then wait 24 hours before I can bake it. So I'm going to put it on and then I'll paint the inside later. But I really just want to try this. And I ordered these on Amazon. They're called PBO Porcelain. And they're specifically for giving a ceramic glazed effect on clay. I've just never tried it on the epoxy sculpt. So let's see how it works. And it doesn't matter that it's going to take 24 hours because I'm going to wait till Friday to post all the videos together. So it goes on. It's not thick like paint. It's much more like a glaze. It's very transparent. I did it with the orange on the mini bowls. And um, the effect was really beautiful. I, actually, I'll get one in a second, and I'll show you the effect. And I don't put it on any special neat way. I just slop it on. I'm not doing the inside, because I'm going to do the inside something different. Besides, I want to see how it turns out. Oops. So... Just see, this brush is a little big for that bottle. Okay, so I gotta let this dry and I'll be back. Uh, actually, I'll be back after I bake it. Ugh. And we'll see what kind of effect it has. I also have never put it over um, gesso. So we shall see. Okay, I'll be back.